Herb. You have company. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Hey, Herb, how you doing? I'm Mike, and this is Frank. I'm Frank. And nice to meet your, you. Your daughter, Heather, okay. called our shop in Iowa and told us that you might have some motorcycle parts you're interested in selling. I, I'm not really interested in, don't know why my daughter called you guys. Uh, no, I get that. I mean, I've got saying. stuff I wouldn't sell either. I understand. Okay. I got bikes, but they're all old friends. Sure. Yeah. I know exactly what yeah. you mean. I bought, a, I bought a motorcycle when I was 15. I still got it. Yeah. Yep. Well, oh, yeah. One we the, both ride quite a bit. One of the bikes in there is kind of, it's been with us over 40 years. Over 40 really? years. Oh, I'll be Which one's that? That's my knucklehead. Oh, the knucklehead. Yep. Oh. That's his baby. <laughs> hey. That's his baby? That's, That's his baby, his Frank. Baby. Awesome. Well, why don't you take him inside and Wouldn't show him around? Would you guys like to come in? Yeah, I'd love yeah, to come look in. Look around. Heck right. yeah. Oh, yeah, this looks good, Norb. JDVL. This looks like Norbert's shop where he works on his bikes and spends some alone time. Here's your baby. Oh, yeah. And sitting by the entrance is this 1946 knucklehead. It's got an orange and black paint job on it. I mean, it's got the beehive taillight. Oh, yeah. It's got a luggage rack. It's got a cigarette lighter with a coil cover over it. It's even got a European speedometer on it. This thing is trick. In the 1970s, people were building bikes that were expressing what was happening in the counterculture. Guys were cutting and chopping everything back then. But this bike, he spared. He wanted to leave it bone stock. This was a bike that he was really going to honor its history. And the fact that he hasn't erased all of that is incredible. Can we hear it run? Sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, good job. That's pretty yeah. cool, man. When you hear that engine, that big twin, it comes alive. Yeah. If you've ridden a bike like this, you can appreciate that sound even more. That baby fired right up. Oh, yeah, she's a good old, she gets temperamental sometimes. Right. Well, yeah. I don't want to walk off this property without this knucklehead. It's a $30,000 bike, and I'm ready to step up if he'll consider an offer. Have you ever thought about selling this over the years? I've had some thoughts and entertained some offers, but it's an old friend. I got you. I've had Here it you. for over 40 years. I can still start it. I can still ride it. Yeah. Do you, do you so, still ride it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll think it over wedding, a little bit. Well, weddings and funerals. I don't really know you, and you want my knucklehead? What are your qualifications? <laughs> you know? Cabinets. Better get off this here. I'm getting too used to it. You know, I'm really in love with this bike, but right now Norbert's saying he's not selling, and I'm not surprised. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look around a little bit. By all means. Please. Alrighty. But his wife and his daughter said he needs to sell, so I'm gonna put the bike on the back burner for right now. But I'm not done yet. <laughs> you think we can take another look at the knucklehead? You can look all you want. All right. <laughs> you know. Look, but don't touch. No, you can touch it. All right. I let you touch it earlier. All right, that's know. fact. I know, I sat on it. You just got to be good. gentle. Felt good. Know. Be gentle, Frank. I'm practicing my wind-up. We bought a few things here. Norbert's happy with our prices. I'm getting ready to slow pitch on that knucklehead. So we've been walking around. We've did the mm -hmm. circle. Mike's bought some parts and stuff from you. Yeah. What about the knuckle here? What are you thinking? <sighs> I know every bearing in this thing, every part, a lot of them I've made. This is my pride and joy. I've owned it for well over 40 years. Uh, I'd really like to help you out, but the Knucklehead's family. It's family? The Knucklehead is part of me, part of the family. I can still ride it. It's staying here. I can understand. I can understand why he kept it. I can understand why it's not for sale. Right. Like, hey, when I can't start it and I can't ride it, I'll give you a call. All right. Frank, I'm going to grab some of these parts. All right. Today wasn't my time, but that's not the only knucklehead around. Careful on the heads. And I put these in a box in there. If I could pick anyone that I really want, it would be the first year 1936 knucklehead. Life's all about timing. There'll be one down the line. All right. Take appreciate you guys. You. Have a good, safe trip. Had a good time. Thanks All a lot right. for the appreciate parts. Appreciate the parts. Oh, thank you for the yeah. entertainment.
It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.